the 3rd of February today and what I'm going to show you today are some uh, how to sow some flower seeds. Now it is very very important to actually sow some flowers in amongst your uh, fruits and vegetables because the flowers will attract the uh, the bees and all the pollinators and obviously that will help um, attract pollinators to your uh, your vegetables especially your beans and your peas and anything that has a flower and needs to be pollinated so it's always good to plant some flowers whether they're annuals whether they're perennials an annual is something that you have to sow every year a perennial is something that you sow once it flowers that one year then it dies back and then it comes back year after year after year um, you can either sow them from seed or you can get small little plug plants it's entirely up to you um, but there are so many out there the ones that I'm going to show you today um, how to sow are lupins because I absolutely love lupins I think they're wonderful the flowers are so big they'll grow really quite tall and the bees will love going in all the different um, the different flowers and also some corn flowers. Now these are perennial corn flowers which will mean that they come up year after year after year and they are just beautiful. They will re-sow their seeds so you could grow these um, in like a, if you wanted to have like a little rustic area and a little cottage garden-y sort of feel but these will attract the bees. They absolutely adore these. Now both of these can be sown January through to March um, inside under cover. They can be sown outside um, but I would suggest sowing those sort of in about April time. Now these are hardy perennials which means that you can sow them outside but I tend to find that the germination rate if you sow straight outside never seems to be quite as good as if you sow them um, under glass or in sort of a protected area. So I'm going to start them off in the greenhouse now in February and then when they get a bit bigger then I'll move little clumps of them to three inch pots and then I'll, um, I'll sort of acclimatise them outside and they'll most probably go outside in about April time but I will show you those steps when I come to them. So all I've got here um, are a couple of little trays, in fact I've had these for quite a few years now. Um, my dear old friend Dick used to get his um, his dinner delivered in these so he saved all of these pots for me and they are absolutely brilliant but if you don't have these then just use a normal seed tray um, make sure that they've got holes in the bottom because obviously the water will need to sort of drop through now you don't need anything special just um, some multi-purpose compost I'm going to put the corn flowers in one and I will put the lupins in the other one so just fill your seed tray practically to the top and just give them just a nice little pat down not too firm because the roots of the um, from the seed will need to work their way down and if you've patted the uh, compost down too hard then um, they won't be able to work their way through if you come across any sort of hard bits then try and break them up. If they don't break up in your fingers, um, then get rid of them because they'll be too hard and again the roots will find it very difficult to work their way through them. Now if your compost is dry, then give it a good water now. Mine is actually quite damp because the bag has been outside so I'm not going to um, water the compost now. Now let's use the front one for the lupins. The lupin seeds are quite big actually and you see those they're quite large so we will just sprinkle those on the top make sure or try and make sure that they're spaced out that there aren't any that are too close together. Hopefully the germination rate for these will be quite high because we're starting them inside but only time will tell. These will take quite a while to come up. They take about, you'll, you'll start to see shoots 
in about three weeks time so don't get a bit disappointed because after a couple of weeks there's nothing growing just be patient with them okay and once you've um, sprinkled those on top then just sprinkle a little bit more compost on top just to fill up the pot and then give it a gentle pat down and a smooth over and that's those ones that's the lupins and now let's do the corn flowers now the corn flowers they're much easier to see they're lighter they're still quite large seeds but they're um, they're sort of beige in color and again we'll just sprinkle these over the top but these will look absolutely gorgeous they'll fill up all the little holes that I have um, in the garden and I'll plant some down um, on the allotment because they will really really help bring in all the pollinators we do have bees on the site which is fabulous um, but obviously anything to bring them closer to my plot is always a good thing so we'll just cover these up with a little bit more compost and what I'll do then is I'll label them and then I'll give them a water right well I have um, labelled these and I've watered them I've just given them just a quick little water on the top as I say if your compost is very very dry before you sow your seeds then I would suggest you give the compost a little bit of a water before you sprinkle the the seeds on but if not just a little bit of water um, on top make sure you label them and then you know what they are what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put one of these propagator lids on top and this will just um, keep in an extra little bit of heat especially if the night gets too cold um, but hopefully in a couple of weeks we'll start to see the cornflowers come up and then about a week to 10 days after that then hopefully the lupins will start to come up um, but I hope you give those a go because these are perennials and they come up year after year after year they will get bigger and bigger and bigger and as long as you look after them you will get more beautiful flowers um, every single year and as I say they will attract the butterflies they will attract the bees they will attract all the pollinators that you need um, to help with all the rest of the, the especially the fruits and the vegetables um, in your garden or on your plot so I hope you find those um, and give them a go and I hope you found that useful and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.